A Highlander reboot? No, thank you. There can be only one. Where's Hal, everybody, and welcome to yet another video. Oh, please, my dear friends, look at the screen. I have already forgotten about this, even though I covered it, I think, in a video a couple of months ago when uh, the first information about this came out. And it is concerning, of course, unfortunately, alas, the Highlander reboot, which, uh, according to Collider, should start filming in January in Scotland, and it should start... Henry Cavill. Now, there's a couple of things to say about this without venturing into depth too much. It's just things that common sense tells you. Uh, first, of course, uh, it uh, tells me that this will probably draw a lot of attention because first, Highlander is uh, a tremendously, or should be, tremendously famous story. And secondly, because there's going to be Henry Cavill in it, and he is one of the hot guys uh, today, and hot in that uh, he is very popular, that he is all over the place and in many, many films. Although I believe that the female audience uh, will say that he is hot in that uh, physical, attractive, good-looking sense as well. Now... Highlander is one of the cult classic films that I grew up watching. I mean, as much as, you know, it's like any other cult classic film. I, I love Christopher Lambert. Uh, he is, of course, in my mind, forever engraved uh, as uh, Conor McLeod in this role. Although I also remember him from playing Tarzan. Not many other roles. And, of course, uh, Sir Sean Connery being one of my favorite actors of all time and his role as Ramirez here was so memorable that not long and quite famously he only spent a week uh recording uh, th his part because you know he didn't have uh enough time i think and so he even made a bet with the director that uh they, they they couldn't possibly manage to uh, shoot all his parts uh, in a week, and they did manage indeed. And so uh, the line, there can be only one, it, it rings true, it resonates true so much that I don't even like any of the sequels or the TV show that came later, although I think I only saw a little bit of it when I was little, but uh, Highlander 1 being an absolute cult classic. And uh, not only because of uh, its cinematography and because of the star duo, you know, Tarzan and James Bond being in one film, but also because of the soundtrack famously made by the band Queen. And so it is one of those, one of those cult classics, one of those films that w whenever you, f you hear the title of the film, you instantly uh, think of a scene from it or the the iconic actors because it is so inevitably and um, uh, so deeply engraved in your memory that you can't really imagine anybody else starring in those roles or, for that matter, you can't imagine that film having a sequel or a prequel. And that has been a trend for the longest time today. It is the, uh, the, the lack of imagination. It is the lack of creativity. It is the lack of um, passion, I would say, to think of new things, to create new interesting stories that uh, has uh, plagued Hollywood in the last couple of years. Now, just think about the, the most preposterous sequels that we are getting these days as of making of this video um i've just heard that uh it really is a fact that there's going to be a gladiator sequel at the end of the year in november i think now if there is a film that not only doesn't require a sequel but really should not under any circumstances have a sequel it's gladiator and so even though Henry Cavill is the famous guy today, is one of the most popular actors in the entertainment industry, I do not think, and if for those of you who have been following my channel for quite some time, it is not a surprise when you hear me say 
there shouldn't be any prequels, any sequels, any reboots, any rehashes, any remakes of this particular famous, iconic, cult classic film. <laughs> I think that uh, to some people it might sound obnoxious and um, they are always telling me, oh, just wait and see, wait until it comes out. There has only been one film in the history of movie making, which was a uh, remake to a certain extent, that I love more than the quote-unquote original, and that is John Carpenter's The Thing, which is one of my all-time favorite films, most certainly 100% my all-time favorite horror film of all time, full stop, period. <laughs> which is quite a, a kind of a remake of an older adaptation of a story that wa that originally came out as a, a short story, I think, and that uh, the uh, the thing is adaptation of. But other than that, nothing that came later as a re as a reboot or prequel or sequel of the original thing has been better than the real deal and the original one. Just think of the the aliens and how many sequels that got and rehashes and predators. How many predator films there have been in the last couple of years? Hmm? I mean, look at Star Wars and what they're doing to it today. It just couldn't be more remote from the original trilogy and to the prequels to that matter as well. And so I enjoy entertainment. I enjoy stories. I enjoy literature and film, TV shows. Uh, and... Um, to to that matter, that I mean, to that extent, that I try to devour as much as possible of the most quality things I can get, and unfortunately, or I'm sorry, unfortunately in general, but for me, in my case, fortunately, today it means going back and uh, discovering things that uh, I haven't been into before, and rediscovering things, rewatching and rereading things that I know very well and I know for sure that they are good. And so instead of hoping for a new adaptation of something or new continuation or new re-release or reboot of something that I already know that can't be the original, you know, I will rather go and rewatch the original. If I want a new thing, I will venture into the past and check out something that I know from recommendations that is good and that I might have not ventured into before. Like, at the time of making of this video, I am discovering for myself the glorious and extraordinary Warhammer 40k universe. But thank you, Collider.com. Because now I really want to rewatch the original Highlander with Christopher Lambert and Sir Sean Connery, which I will do tonight. Right. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.